Welcome to Off the Beaten Path, but not lost. With Tony, Kristen, Kylie, and Lexi. (laughs) Join us on this RV full-time living journey. Across the beautiful United States. Where the fail lies. Happy New Year! Welcome to episode 26, where we discuss what we did for a whole year. 2021 2020. recap. <laughs> what? 2021. All right. So, are you following us on Facebook and Instagram? If not, make that your... Uh, New Year's resolution. Your New Year's resolution. (laughs) No. Um, Go follow us on Facebook or Instagram at The Faolas. The show notes for this episode can be found at thefaolas.com slash 26. And it's going to be filled with a lot of links. Have fun with this one, Tony. (laughs) (laughs) We will link all of the places and stuff that we talk about in this podcast. If we've talked about it already. I'll just do one link to... Our podcast. <laughs> if we've talked about it, but a lot of the stuff we haven't. 2021. The highlight reel. <laughs> so 2021, we started in Arizona. Made our way north all the way. We went from the southern border all the way to the northern border. Yeah, we actually went to both borders. Touched yep. the borders. And from there, we headed east. But it was quite an adventure, I have to say. Uh A lot of new things that we did. Miles, a lot of miles. We have driven 26,000 miles. That's what Google recorded before the year was over. And we drove a lot out of signal, like where we had no service or GPS or anything. So So it was probably 26,000 plus. I would say it's closer (laughs) to 30,000 miles total for 2021. Wow. Which is a lot when gas prices are going up. Yeah. And that's not just like, that's that's more Jeep than RV. But obviously we did put a lot of miles. I think we put probably 10, 10 or 12,000 miles on the RV this year. Yeah. The 26,000 was total. Those are move days and road trips. Yeah. We drive the heck out of the Jeep. <laughs> How much gas do we get? Lots <laughs> and lots. We should keep track of that just to say on the next podcast. That would be the most depressing stat we could ever <laughs> Record. We could say we used XXX amount of gallons of gas. How many national parks have we been to? 11. 11. 11 right. new. Oh, yeah. 11 new national parks. All right. Who can name them? Lexi, go ahead. Try. Okay. So Zion. Okay. Coral Reef. Uh, Capital <laughs> Reef. Okay. Good fix. Smoky Mountains. Grand Canyon. Yellowstone Canyon? <laughs> <laughs> Yellowstone, yep. <laughs> we did go to a Yellowstone Canyon. Yeah. They did have a canyon. In. Where did we see our first grizzly bears? There's a big mountain there. Grand Tetons. No, there was one before that. That was all the other grizzlies. But that is one, so we'll add Grand Tetons. <laughs> Five to go. Kylie, you want to help out? Yes. Bryce Canyon. Bryce, okay. That's always like mouthing to you, Lexi. <laughs> yeah, going to the sun <laughs> Glacier. Yep. Glacier. Glacier. We did one in Indiana. Indiana Dunes. Indiana Dunes. Lexi. We saw a train there. Cuyahoga Valley. I don't think you knew that one. No. And there's one more, if you guys can remember. Oh, Oh, you don't even know? No, it's in Nevada. (laughs) Oh, yeah, Nevada. Yes, I remember now. It's in the Utah-Nevada border. Yes. So that's why I was was thinking Utah, and you're right, it is Nevada. We basically had to drive through the desert to get there, and it's a bunch of mountains. Yeah. It was Great Basin. Yep. Oh, Great Basin. <laughs> so that those one, are 11, yeah? That one's not that Out of those, which memorable. one was your it's favorite? Cool place, but. We know Lexi's was. Smoky Mountains, right? So you can find all about our Smoky Mountain trip at episode 21. So thefailas.com slash 21. So we hung out at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in October, and we hung out for Lexi's birthday. We had a birthday extravaganza that day, and we also did a bunch of um, stuff in the parks. We saw some bear, right? Yeah. Yeah. We saw, what else? You guys went on a hike, three-mile hike in the... Yeah. And... That was a pretty epic hike. Yeah. 
I will. I be one behind a waterfall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had one more. Go ahead. It was Capitol Reef. Capitol Reef was another favorite. Yeah, because we found like a wall with it looked like cheese, but with the holes. You and love the Swiss cheese wall, don't you? <laughs> yeah, and I could fit in a hole. Yep. And it was like a chair. Yep. And I loved it. Okay, Kylie, what is your favorite national park that we spent time in last year? I can't. I still can't get used to saying that. <laughs> I know, me neither. Um, probably Grand Teton. I loved Grand Teton. It was really Same. cool. We saw so many cool animals with the great backdrop. It was beautiful. And we saw a lot of baby bears there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were so cute. Yep. We saw a lot of bear yeah. in general. <laughs> if I could narrow it down to two in no particular order, it would be uh, um, Yellowstone and Glacier. And the, I don't even, I, I don't even believe me when I say that. <laughs> I'm going to say... That's just, two, that's just two off of the list. I'm going to say Glacier and Teton. I loved Yellowstone, don't get me wrong. But, and actually my favorite part of Yellowstone was probably the east side. How does that phrase go? Like, it's just a whole bunch of stinky gases or something yeah, on the one pretty side. pretty cool if you like... But on the other side, there's tree... I'm more of a tree person. I love trees. I love forest. And the other side is you get to see a lot of that. Yeah, the like east the end north. Is like- Northeast side, that's really cool up there, I think. Yeah, Lamar Valley, you get mm-hmm. mountains and forests. And and then the east side, yeah, you have Yellowstone Lake, which is surrounded by a forest. So I get that. But with Teton, you have all the things I like, plus animals that we saw, plus the mountains in the background. And then Glacier was really cool because we got to drive over the mountain, and we got some really cool experiences there as well. Mm-hmm. And we saw our first grizzly, which was pretty cool. Yep. Anything you want to say about your two favorites that you picked? Do you even remember what they are now? I think it was Zion and Grand Canyon. <laughs> two totally different ones. It's Yellowstone and Glacier. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. They were all pretty amazing. They were. But I will say yeah. the views in Glacier and the views in Grand Teton, like there's not a bad place to go in Grand Teton. You picked Yellowstone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to pick because there's so many. I mean, each park has its own cool thing that we've been to so far. What do you pick, Mom? I pick Teton and Glacier. I actually can say that I'm not that big a fan so far of the East Eastern parks, except for the Smoky Mountains. I liked that a lot. Um, But I didn't like We did them in the wrong order. You should go East Coast to West Coast. Yeah. Because you had, you know... Your Expect, mind blown. You had def- different <laughs> expectations when you go from yeah. the big ones out west to the eastern ones. Like, I wasn't that big a fan of Indiana, but yet I've seen online that people love that park. They're like, this park is so cool. And I, I guess, like, it wasn't that big of a deal for me, and I think because I am spoiled with Lake Michigan. I like, mean, I yeah. went to Lake Michigan every summer of my life, yeah, and so exactly. those were, like, national parks. You much. have, yeah, we've been to Sandy Dunes. Mm-hmm. Dozens of times, you know, for people who've traveled from like the Midwest that don't have the Great Lakes, you go to Indiana Dunes and you're like, whoa. Yeah. Especially when you like, they take pictures like on Lake Michigan and they're like, it's like an ocean. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's my baby. (laughs) I love her. Um, And then Cuyahoga was, was cool. It was fun. Um, But it wasn't. My memories there are the train, which was cool. And like us family things like it wasn't even really the park but things that we did like as a family Mm -hmm. which is good that's what this is all about right is making memories with each other um but the big parks that really left an impact on me are definitely out west zion tetons glacier yellowstone and yellowstone but when i say yellowstone was not on my favorite list it's seriously cool bucket list like when i started this journey yellowstone was it (laughs) <laughs> it was like the ultimate ending. <laughs> yeah, it was like the main reason why I wanted to do this. Yes, now I can go to Yellowstone. Uh, it's just that like some of the other experiences that we've seen, like with the animals and stuff like that, we got to see in Tetons and stuff. So if I had to pick two, I'm picking Tetons and um, Glacier. But yeah, 11 parks. I'm just amazed by that. Before I started 
um, full timing, I had been to zero and I am old. <laughs> 30 plus. We'll I think say. I, mine was a one. I think I went to, uh, I went to the Grand Canyon when I was nine. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You had one though. And my kids had none and I had none. And so now we've have 16. No, you had the Badlands. You'd been to the Badlands. Oh yes. I have. I have been to the Badlands. I'm sorry. I forgot about that one. Um, so what, that's 16 we've been to total? Yep, total. Yep, we've been to 16 total, 11 just last year. So we really did well. Next year, do you think we can beat that? No. Or this year? You don't think so? I'll I just, mean, there's 60-something parks. We can't go to 11 parks this year? No, I'll just go back to the s- same I know, ones. We, are going to, <laughs> we are going back towards a few of the same ones. So that'll be interesting. But Okay, let's talk campsite stats. So we have 40 nights, that's it, out of the entire year that we paid at a campground, private campground. We did have um, 11 at an RPI, so technically 51 camp, 51 nights. Yeah, if you don't know what RPI is, like a a membership camping thing, camping membership, and you get a discounted rate. Yeah, I think we paid like $10 a night or or close to that. So 51 nights total um, paid for. The rest were free. We either stayed at boondocking, which was actually, I mean, I think that's a pretty impressive number, 109 nights. Um, we also did some Thousand Trails and some Thousand Trails collection, which is the Encore Parks. And then... Um, Got about two weeks in family members' driveways. <laughs> <laughs> and Harvest House, stuff like that. So those were all free nights. Um, we spent 40 nights at a private park and 11 nights at an RPI. 51 nights we paid for last year, which is pretty impressive, I think. Yeah. Now, we still paid money. We still, I mean, we still had to pay for our memberships. The All our membership fees are $1,029 that we paid, and that includes all of our dues for Thousand Trails, our RPI membership, our Boondockers Welcome, and um, Harvest Host. So last year was a pretty good year. Yeah. And we're going out west this year, too, so hopefully it's just as good. <laughs> yeah. We were going to do the East Coast, which I'm sure would have been a lot more expensive. So that is really cool. And what are our free site? What are our free places that we stayed? Not free. Sorry. Favorite places that we've stayed. Lexi, where was your favorite place that we stayed? <laughs> it was in a forest. There, were, there was, like, a spot that's op- that was open and a fort made out of, like, logs. Yep. And we, like, put stuff in it, like my chair, a blanket, and stuff. Yeah, you guys spend a lot of time out in that fort. Yeah, and we watched a movie in there. Yep. Yeah, somebody built a fort in the middle of the the forest, National Forest, right? Yeah, it was Dixie National Forest. It was um, right outside of Bryce Canyon National Park. Is that your only favorite campsite? Well, no. It was a campground in Yuma, and we were by this hike. It was super long, and, like, in the middle of it, there was, like, a castle. It was, <laughs> it was actually it was like a bike trail. Yeah, and, like... Was it a castle or a playground? It was a playground that looked like a castle. <laughs> but it was giant. Yes. yes. That was in Foothills, right? Yeah. On Core Park? And there was, like, a slide that was, like, like light, went darker, 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 and then light again. I think I went down that slide. Yeah. <laughs> So that was in Yuma, and it was Foothills Village. Yep. It was an encore park. And nice where one. where the fort was, um, I really liked that area. Well, what was one or two of your favorite camp spots? My favorite camp spot was Fun Weans. <laughs> and do you remember what state that was in? Yes, Idaho. That was a really fun one. Why was it so fun? Because we got to play with Wean puppies. Yeah. Which I didn't even know it ex- existed. I know. Now we did, and our mind is blown. And now yeah, we the literally worst are the decision wanting- I ever made was to plan that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's great. We, we met a great friend. Pete is awesome. Yeah. He's now Mom a good now friend. works for him. Yeah, now I help yeah. him out with his social media. I will link him in the show notes. Um, and we will be getting a puppy from him eventually. So that'll be cool. Um, <laughs> when we were playing them, I was like walking around the RV. And like, like there's like a, a white poodle named Potato. Potato, and they let, and like a wheat in that didn't have a name. I called him Brownie, and <laughs> he, 
He, they followed you all around, didn't they? <laughs> yes. It was cute. Yeah. It was super cute. They're they're really cute dogs. Um, we'll link them in the show notes, of course. And the only reason I say that, like I do, I, I really liked Pete. I liked staying there. I loved the area. I loved the puppies. But when I say it was the worst decision, it's because it's all I ever hear about now is <laughs> a Wheaton puppy. <laughs> He wanted us. To, he wanted us to come over and see his grown-up two dogs that he actually owned, um, which are also weaned, but they're like full little grown. You remember their names? Yes, Murphy and Scrappy. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Didn't they were you, so soft, weren't uh, they? Did mm-hmm. you guys take our dogs over there to play, or was it just, no. you just went over? No, there? No, we went. We took our dogs over there. We didn't take our dogs over there. He actually came over and talked to us a couple times, and our dogs were outside with him. Yeah, they played. I was st- at the RV, and you guys were up in the yard, and it was like, I want to say, it's like at least 100 yards away, maybe a couple hundred yards, and I could see those dogs running and running and running. Mm-hmm. It was so funny. They're, they were happy. They're such happy dogs. That's like what I like the most about them is when you see them walking up to you, they're just like, like happy, that, happy, 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 happy. That song on Instagram was like, I'm a happy dog or I'm a good old dog or what is it? It's ha- I'm a happy dog. Yeah, I'm a happy dog. I'm or how's it go? Tell me. Anyone? I'm a hap, hap, yeah. happy dog. <laughs> that's like what I think of, even though I couldn't think of it. Uh, that's what I think of when I see those dogs walking around. But And we came home and we we're eating dinner and dad and I was like, Dad, those dogs are adorable, so once we see the puppies, yeah. our minds are going to be blown. Because if they're that cute as a grown-up, they're going to be adorable as a puppy. And they, yeah. I was right. And we can't forget the part where when we left that weekend, <laughs> you guys all cried because we couldn't take a puppy home with us. <laughs> Literally crying on the way out. Yeah. Because we I all, was like, including me. <laughs> no, they're like, we need to get one. And I've said, no, that was not, it's not a good idea right now. And everybody was crying. Dad, what was your favorite spot that we stayed? I would say, like, if I just say what first comes to mind is the uh, Grand Teton boondocking spot. It's like oh, the yeah, Teton the view, it's in the Bridger Teton National Forest. We and can you, see the Tetons yeah, from the front window. You literally mm-hmm. have a view of the Tetons. From your camp spot. And it's free. From our front window. Yeah. Like, we were facing it. It was amazing. The only bummer about that is, uh, you know, smoke from wildfires. But we had that pretty much everywhere out west. So th- there was, like, some good days and some bad days. And and one day, it was so foggy, you couldn't even see the mountains. Foggy, yeah. 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 Other days, there was a f- several days that it was, like, crystal clear. So, so that, I would say that's probably my most memorable just because of the view. And, you know, we're 15 minutes from all the cool stuff in Grand Tetons, like all the animals and stuff, where we saw the hot spot, animal hot spot. And then I would say, I don't know. I can't even say a second favorite. I don't know. I'm not going to say any favorites because <laughs> I had so many. <laughs> I'm just not going to pick one. Um, I mean, I'm going to give you an area. I really liked um, the northern area. So pretty much all of our spots in Idaho I loved. Um, I loved Yellowstone area, all the entrances. I really liked the north areas probably the most, the northwest and northeast sections. Yes, I did not have signal, and that might have been a little bit of a... I would say the, the northeast, that was Cook City, Montana, and there was zero cell service. So, like, we stayed there on the weekend, so it didn't really matter. But it matter. was gorgeous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had a little bit of anxiety, but it was because my kids were sick. So, that made me a little nervous. If the kids weren't sick, I wouldn't have been nervous at all, but it was is that, cool. Is that where Lexi had a really bad fever, and mm-hmm. you're, like, super scared? Yeah, because I was scared she too. had the last dose of Tylenol when we yeah. pulled in. And it was 8 o'clock on a Sunday, and I knew for sure we were not going to find Tylenol anywhere. But we ended up finding it, And there's shockingly. no Walgreens there. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's in the middle of nowhere, kind of. Yeah. If we had Tylenol, I wouldn't, or, you know, Tylenol Motrin, I wouldn't have been as worried. But when we took the last dose, I was a little nervous. Yeah, but we like, ended up getting it, so yep. I was okay. That's like the scary bear country, too. Mm-hmm. But in the Beartooth Mountains. So, um, anything else about campsites? I would say that um, in Wall, South Dakota, mm-hmm. that, that was, was a cool. pretty epic spot right on the cliff mm-hmm. of Badlands. But the one night was pretty scary. 
So we are parked on the cliff air edge. Well, not really, but like we were. Like <laughs> ten, like eight feet away was the cliff of where we were parked, and this night we were driving home, and Dad said he saw a sign that said "High Wind Tonight." Yeah, High Wind Advisory. Yeah, and, and I just kind of laughed it off. It didn't click. <laughs> and then when <laughs> we get we home, it. I was like, "Wow." That, uh, we're all like, that's pretty windy. And then we got get out. Of, we try getting out of the car, but it's so windy. We couldn't get out. Yeah. And and we were getting pelted with rocks. That's and when dirt. I cried tears and made Tony move us. Yeah, we, were, <laughs> we literally ended up moving away from the cliff for the night because of the wind. We actually got, I, I got a notification on my phone for the wind advisory, and it said sustained gusts of 70 miles per hour. Which is crazy. Crazy. Mm-hmm. And it felt like it. And we have an episode all about this, so you can get all the details there on that. Um, we left our windows all open, and dust was literally everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. We left the windows open when we went into the Badlands. We didn't realize that it was going to be a windy day. It was just a beautiful day, and so we left the windows open, and we got home. There was dust everywhere, all over our bed. Everywhere it was like crazy. we opened every single window, and Lexi was like, We're like all crying, and Lexi's like trying to wipe off the counter, and she's like, How do I wipe this off? I know she, <laughs> she was, I think that might have been like a panic attack that she was having. It was pretty serious. So, just to, I mean, we tell you all about this in episode 17. 17. Yeah, so you can find this at the com slash 17, but. Just to kind of give you the picture, um, it was super windy and like the, the what are those things called on our slide? Slide covers were like flapping really loud. So it was inside, it was really loud sounding. And Tony was outside cleaning up and Lexi was crying inside and she was kind of like panicking and she was like wiping the counter, but it was like with a towel. <laughs> and she's just like wiping the same spot and she's like, it won't clean. And I'm like, honey, it's okay. Sit down. Mommy will do it. <laughs> Goodness, that was... That was bad. Yeah, it was a little bit of a scary moment. Um, but we made it out of it, and you can get all the details of that on that on that podcast. Any other cool experiences? I mean, all of the boondocking spots, I mean, if you, I, I feel like bad leaving them out, but we had an amazing spot near um, Zion that I thought was amazing, right on like a, I don't know, a little canyon was right behind yeah. us. We had a lot of really good ones. We had some that were just like, they they just got us by. The they Zion one was cool though. No, because that was there was cool. like a canyon behind us and a trail and Jeep trail and Yep. Um I also like the forest that we stayed in. Uh, Idaho ones. I mean the Idaho's gorgeous. Yeah. The entire state. We're supposed to spend a couple of weeks in Idaho. We ended up spending what six weeks yeah. or something like that. Yeah, thirty eight straight days in Idaho. Yeah, we have a whole podcast about that as well, Idaho. You can find that at thefails.com slash nine. Wow. Yes, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but, yeah, we spent a lot of time in Idaho. We did the entire state, and guess what? We're going to go back there this year. Yeah. <laughs> There's still more to see. So um, that is a very underrated state. Last year we knocked off 11 national parks, but we only got seven states. <laughs> yep. Seven new states that we claimed. Yes. So again, how we claim states is um, they have to be, we have to go to them after we've started our journey. So there are a lot of states that we've been to before we started full-timing and we don't count those. You have to, we have to stay one night in the state and do something in the state. Yeah, not like grab a cheeseburger from McDonald's. We have to like actually visit some sort of attraction or stay there for like a week. Well, well it has to be at least, yeah. at least yeah. one night and do something. And I'm just going to say we do not combine one night and do something <laughs> because <laughs> one of our states we claimed this year we cheated a little bit on. What state? Indiana. We didn't claim that, did we? I oh, think, we did. Yeah. I didn't I didn't have that on my list. Okay, so Indiana, we... um, So eight states. Okay, so Indiana, we, on the way to Texas, we stayed the night there, but didn't do anything. And then on the way to Michigan, we stayed in Michigan right on the border, but then went into Indiana Dunes National Park. So technically, it's claimable now. (laughs) Because it meets the criteria. It's been on our RV full-timing 
Yeah. Trip. We stayed the night there and we did something. So it's. Yeah. We never said they have to be at the same time. And just to be clear, we will be going back to Indiana. Yeah. There's a ton of caves there that I want to do. Um, so we'll be going back there anyways. But yeah. So our eight new claimed states, Idaho, Montana, Iowa, Ohio, Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia, and Indiana. And what are your favorites, Lexi? Out of the ones I just said, the eight states that I just said. Can I pick two? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee. Okay. Good one. And Idaho. Okay. Since it has the best potatoes. Oh, they yeah, did have they good potatoes. Good. Kylie, yeah. two favorites or one favorite, whatever. Um, Michigan. Just kidding. Um, That's not on that list. <laughs> <laughs> um, Idaho and Tennessee. So Lexi's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tony. I was trying not to do the same thing as her, but <laughs> the, the, both of those have some pretty good stuff. They I, do, you're right. Idaho and Montana. I am going to say Idaho and Montana as well. You know what none of us said for sure, though? Ohio. Just kidding. Just kidding, Ohio people. Just kidding. <laughs> we love all of the states. It's kind of hard to choose. Kylie picked mine. Yeah. You picked it. Idaho has definitely left a mark on our family. Yeah, it's liked by all of us. That's for sure. And we're going back there this this winter or this summer, so we'll have some more favorites there. But, oh, man, such a cool state. South Dakota as well, um, but obviously that wasn't one of the new states. But if it was, that would be on my list. Except I'm pretty sure the dog's favorite state is Arizona, Flagstaff, Arizona, because they s spent snow and also love snow. I have to say that, like, if 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 we had to buy land right now and settle down, it would be in one of those states, I think. Yeah. Except for the winter scares me a tad, but... I mean, it can't be any worse than Michigan winter. I mean, it could, but... <laughs> Other than the mountains, you know, maybe higher elevation, more snow, but I'm yeah. cool with that. I love snow. Mm -hmm. I love snow, too. I just I don't like... The only too. thing I don't like is sustained, like, zero degree temps. So I don't know if that happens there or not, but... Yeah, those states are a big fan. I'm a big fan of them. Okay, and we then, also... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say, there was also three unclaimed states that we drove through. Uh, Illinois, Kentucky, and North Carolina. And we didn't claim them because we didn't do anything. We did stay the night in North Carolina. No, we stayed the night in Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky. That's what I meant. I knew but one of them. But we didn't do anything. We just stayed there a night and then moved on. Yep, so we didn't claim it. See? We are honest. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Uh, so we just need to go back to those states. All right, so let's move on. So we have some highest and lowest elevations for 2021. Mm. Pretty big difference. The highest is 8,041 feet, Cook City, Montana. And yep. lowest is 3 feet, Bradenton, Florida. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So those are actual places that we stayed, right? Not where we went. Yeah, we actually were higher in elevation. In the Jeep trails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are actual places that we stayed, like our campsites um, that we stayed at. One was 8,041 feet in Cook City, which I told you I liked that area. Yeah. <laughs> and then the lowest three feet. And that's just this year because our lowest is lower than that. We stayed in. New Orleans, yeah. which I'm sure is lower than that. Yeah. So that is a fun, fun range, though. That's for sure. The states we spent the longest in. What's the longest state that we stayed in? Um, or what, what state did we stay in the longest in 2021? Arizona, 112 days. Mm -hmm. um, Florida, 69 days. Idaho, 45. Utah, 35. Montana, 20, Wyoming, 19. All right, cool. What about some bucket list items? I would say my bucket list item is Yellowstone, just because it's, we did all the, all five gates or entrances, mm -hmm. whatever you want to say. We can definitely check off Yellowstone. Not that we are not going back there. And I would, there's still way more to do there. Mm -hmm. um, like I want to take a boat onto Lake Yellowstone or Yellowstone oh, Lake. Oh, that'd be fun, yeah. yeah. Lexi, what was your bucket list item? What's a bucket list? <laughs> Something you've been wanting to do forever, and you talk about it literally since we started learning about national parks. 
Smoky Mountains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep, Smoky Mountains was your bucket list item. Kylie, what about you? That was my favorite one. Mm-hmm. My favorite is the wild bears that we, all the wild bears that we saw. Yes. So I have to say my bucket list item would be that as well, kind of. Mine is the animals in general that we've seen. Uh, wildlife in general? Moose. I've seen moose before, but with my family is definitely a different experience. And I was little when I saw them before. And I'm talking wild only. Um, I've, I've obviously seen these things in um, zoos, but this last year, my first wild moose, my first grizzly, baby cubs, dolphins. And I would say all the grizzlies that we saw were like pretty up close and personal. Well, I guess yeah, two out of three were really close. Yes. So grizzlies, baby cub, bear cubs, moose, um, the dolphins. Oh, yeah. Forgot yeah. About- I manatees. Even, yeah, I wasn't even, like, factoring those in. Yeah, manatees. My first manatee ever that I've seen. Yeah, me too. Um, Funny little story. Oh, My good. thing was <laughs> oh, great. yours, <laughs> but Dad just put wild bears, even though all mine was actually yours. Oh, he just, animals? He just put it that, nah, wild bears. Okay, okay. That was my fault. You pro- you did say that afterwards, but you first said wild bears. But I, I agree. Then you I can take it with me. It's saying. okay. I'll share it with you. Mom left all of her stats open so she could just, like, suck off of ours, I think. No, 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 no. I did it because I don't need notes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just didn't know, to be honest. I come up with new things on the fly. <laughs> But yeah, I would say all the new, all the new wild animals we saw last year alone. Yeah, it's just crazy that we saw all those in one year. That's an that's a second for me, second bucket list thing for me and, is all the wildlife. And last year we actually kind of fed bears. Oh yes, you did. Yeah, at a place. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> we didn't feed them at the national parks. Stay away. The Wolf and Grizzly Discovery Center. Yes, which was cool. And we did talk about that in podcast um, 13. So, thefeolas.com slash 13. So, in 2021, we've done 24 Jeep trails, which is good. Yeah. And these are, we consider a Jeep trail off-roading. It's not just like a paved road or even like a nicely dirt road. It has to be a pretty good. Yeah. Bumpy, I mean, rocky, Pretty challenging. much our easiest one was in Florida. Yeah. And it was an actual Jeep Honor Badge trail. So <laughs> we do not normally claim a trail unless it's um, a legit Jeep trail. So technically in Florida, they're very easy. <laughs> yeah. Because there's <laughs> well, no... Sandy. There is no hill or no... It's Florida's flat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, it's a totally different experience in Florida than it is in the West. You still can get stuck. Out of all those 24 trips, what was your favorite, Kylie? Um, I don't know. Some of the ones I have highlighted are the Blacktail Wild Bill Badge of Honor Trail in Montana, Mm -hmm. the Monument Ridge in Wyoming. That was where we went up the mountain to the old fire lookout. Oh, yeah, with the goats. No, not that oh, one. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, that was my favorite. That was my favorite. Which one, though? Goats? Mm-hmm. Um, My favorite was where we followed that Jeep. That was uh, Monument Ridge in right. Wyoming. Oh, no. No, you're right. That was with the fire tower that you guys got up in. The old fire tower that you went into? We had a picture. Took oh. pictures. One of my favorites was in Idaho. It's called Sawtell Peak. And it's actually close to the West Yellowstone, Montana. But... um. It was almost 10,000 feet. It was 9,975, 9,975 feet. So we went all the way up there. And there's like a, I think it's like a weather station or something. And the girls and I walked up to the very, very peak of it. And then as we were coming back, what did we see? I was like, I, I could see it off in the distance coming around the hill. No, we saw them for the first time when we walked, all of us walked out to the the edge. Okay. And we had our dogs with us. I was like, ah. yeah. And I was like, what they the weren't heck scared is that? at all. It was way. F- it was pretty far away. And I was like, who let their dogs run out here? But there was nobody else with us. And as we got closer, they got closer to us. 
they weren't dogs. They were mountain goats. It was a whole mountain goat family. They were the cutest things. And there was a baby. Yeah, there's a couple of babies, I think, weren't there? Yeah, they were so cute. They're like, nud- they stopped to eat, and the, eat the grass, and the babies were like hitting one of the adults, I think. Yeah, yeah it was like <laughs> running into them. <laughs> Yeah, I stayed in the car with the dogs to keep them calm, and you guys ended up walking out and around just to take pictures of the other side of the mm-hmm. thing. And when you're coming back, you saw them again. So, did we ever share any pictures of those goats? I don't. I don't know. We should in this yeah, podcast. Like that, Ka- Kylie and Mom stayed in the car with the dogs, and Dad and me got out, and like one like started oh. walking to me, us. That was just right up, because they actually came right up to our car. And yeah. so I was in the car just keeping the dogs calm, and you guys walked out to take pictures of them. Yeah. Some other cool Jeep trails was was the um, Bonneville Salt Flats. Yeah, that's, I mean, I wouldn't say really like a... Jeep trail, any car can go out there, but... Any car can go out there, but... We did it in the Jeep, and yeah. it was fun. And you, remember, you guys remember how fast we got going before Mom had a panic attack? <laughs> 94 miles per hour. I wanted to get to 100. Oh, yeah, I remember. I, I, just, I didn't know what we were talking about. She couldn't about. handle it. But it was the Bonneville. So but that was a lot of fun. Yes. We went to a river that was called Salmon River. Yep. And Dad had a floaty, and he actually went out in the river. Yeah, it was flowing pretty good, and I, I floated out to the middle. I went <laughs> upriver. Went out to the middle and floated back down and came around. Yeah, we drove down through the sand and just down to the beach at the Salmon River. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was super cool. The best beach time I've ever had. I don't see it on your list, Tony, but we did the one in Yuma as well. Which one? Dome Mountains or whatever they're called. Yeah, Castle Dome Mountain. Yeah, I don't see them on here unless they're called something else. I think it's McPherson Pass. Oh, okay. Um, I really like that one, too. Um, the reason why I liked that one is because um, Yuma is very brown. There's not a lot of green unless it's fake <laughs> in the entire city area. And we were down there for so long, and I was really craving green. I really needed green in my life. And so we went on this Jeep trail not to see green. We went on the Jeep trail to go on a Jeep trail. And that is one thing that was super cool. There was, like, some mountains that were covered in green. Like, I don't know. They weren't really trees. No, but but it was. But it was, like, brush. But it was, like, um, all over a couple of the mountains. I mean, I have some pictures. I'll put it in the show notes. Um, The couple looked pretty lush. I was pretty impressed. I was like, what? I mean, I I could be lying because I could have just been like seeing a, what is it called when you see something fake? Mirage. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe it was that because I was craving green, but that was such a surprise. And the trail was nothing special, to be honest. Um, But it was just so neat to do that, to see green in the middle of nothing. The other favorite I have is when we drove down and um, we drove on the trail. The trail wasn't that special, but it ended at... What lake is, or what river is The Colorado is that? River. Yeah, the Colorado River. <laughs> that was called Burrow Wash. That's yeah. in Nevada. Yeah, that was fun, too. Put that one on my list. I have a lot of Jeep trails. I love Jeep a, trails. That was quite a long trail. I think it took us an hour, and it was pretty rough. Like, it, you can't just take a car back there. Like No, there was, no, that was a Jeep it's trail. It's like Jeeps or side-by-sides. That's all that was back there. Yeah. Um, no, I just, I, I meant that. The trail wasn't that special. Like it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, it had it had its moments. Like we, you had to like traverse down some switchbacks and around a mountain. Oh yeah, that part was cool. But a lot of it is just kind of like through rocky terrain. Yeah. No, the whole thing was neat. Don't get. I mean, that's not why I'm saying nothing special. What I mean is like it wasn't like epic views or anything You're like, like I'm that. I'm bored. This I, trail I never sucks. once said I'm bored on a Jeep trail. <laughs> Um, not even the Florida one, no. <laughs> uh, but the coolest part about that trail is that you end at the Colorado River, yeah. which is really cool. And it was cool at the very end. Mm-hmm. And there was a bunch of people, like a bunch partying. of families partying down there and having fun and swimming and stuff. So, yeah, we had a good time. All right. Anything else about Jeep trails? Um, there was a good one. 
We haven't talked about Sedona at all. <laughs> we only did one in 2021 in Sedona. That was Soldier Pass. That was a really good one. Not my favorite, though. We did Broken Arrow as well. In 2021? January 18th. Oh, Arrowhead? I thought it was only... Broken Arrow was definitely a top three for 2021. Oh, you didn't um, even list that one. I didn't, I didn't know it was 2020. I thought it was just before... Mm-hmm. 2021, uh, we did. Actually, I have another favorite Jeep trail. Oh, okay. Let's just continue <laughs> on. Jeep trails. Um, it w- I think it was called, like, Arrowhead. Okay, tell me about it. It was probably Broken Arrow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> we, like, we stopped at a place. Did we have a picnic? No, I think you're thinking of Soldier Pass, where we stopped at the Seven Pools, and we talked to the Pink Jeep tour guide. And he gave you an arrowhead? And he gave you an arrowhead? Yes. Yep. Arrowhead. Arrowhead. Something about an arrowhead somewhere. (laughs) Yeah, so Sedona Sedona is definitely a fun place for Jeep trails. I'm surprised you didn't put any in there. So that was a really good one. Soldier Pass was pretty good. But it's very short. You know, uh, Soldier Pass has more, like, the destinations, like the seven pools. There's another hike you can do. But Broken Arrow is, like, a Jeep trail. Mm -hmm. Obstacles and climbs and... So that is our 2021 annual recap. Pretty epic. Yeah, there's, like... We could go on and on about it. (laughs) But I think... I'm just going to, like, edit that part out and, like, clip it and then just put it at the end of every podcast, okay? (laughs) That is true, though. We could go on and on about all of this, but we have 45 minutes, so. Dad, what's funny is you say that literally on every podcast. I know, (laughs) but I'm talking. I think I said it once, and then I just wanted to continue the legacy. But, yeah, all the all the things, um, you know, the Jeep trails, the national parks that we went to, the um, states that we got to visit. The favorite national parks. Mm-hmm. We're extremely blessed in 2021. It was an epic year for us, mm-hmm. um, especially when so much crazy is happening in the country. <laughs> we were able to um, make the best of it, I think. Yeah, I agree. So A lot of good memories. A lot of good memories. Lots. So 2022, we were going to say our goals on this one, but it looks like we've hit um, our limit. So we are going to uh, move that to the next podcast where we talk about our goals and what we plan on doing um, in 2022. And that'll be perfect timing to talk about our, um, what is it, anniversary going full time. So that will also be coming up this month. Nomadversary, I yeah, think they call it. Nomadversary or Nomadversary. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> what is it, two years? Three years? Two years? I don't know. Arversary. <laughs> I don't know. 2019 Wait, to 2022. What's that? Three years. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Arversary. RV. 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 Anyways, so stay tuned for our next podcast where we're going to talk about all of our goals for the next year. And then that will lead us into our anniversary. (laughs) We're going to go over all of, um, like, what you do when you go full-timing. How do you get a domicile? What is a domicile? What is Um, a domicile? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Residency, stuff like that. Um, All the logistics of going full-time. And that will be coming up. So thank you so much. For listening. Yeah, 26 episodes that you've listened to now, or maybe you haven't. If you have. (laughs) In one year. Yeah, yeah, we did 26, no, 25 in one year. Oh, yeah, true. This is is 2022. (laughs) Um, So, and we're excited for the next year and and what what happens. We have some big goals, and we have some really neat stuff that we're going to be releasing as well. Some big changes for our plans, too. Yes. For 2022. So, next week. You'll hear that. Anything else, girls? Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Fairless. 
And to get the show notes, which there's going to be a lot, Tony promises you, at thefailas.com slash 26. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> cool. See you guys later. Bye. 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 You think we're going to have bloopers this time? Oh, yeah. Lots and lots. <laughs> it's a family podcast. We have to do cheesy stuff. Except for then we probably be taxed for it or something. Anyways, yeah. let's move on. <laughs> do, 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 do. We on the three mile hike, we were going uphill, not downhill. The whole way. Well, Both halfway. ways. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Hi, we're doing a podcast. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how many Jeep trials in total did we do, Tony? I didn't do that stat. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's why I asked. So I'm not an Excel wizard like you are, so I just push buttons and break things and you fix them. Do you have them. them all in here? Yeah, I think so. Um. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> did, so. did you see the death ride? <laughs> Um, Sorry, let's pause it. We have a stink bug and we got to pause it.